give or take about 10 days. We're cutting it close when we're doing two weeks. So that's a con. Uh, All right, honey. Pros and cons so far. Pros about living in an RV is we went from the mountains now to the lakes. Uh, different views every trip. Cons, breaking down and setting back up. Hauling uh, everything, not sure if stuff's gonna break on the way to your, yeah. next, uh, to your next adventure. Tires, maintenance, yeah. uh, everything that you have to do more of. It's not an oil change every three months or 3,000 miles. It's more frequent. A little bit more expensive then, but look what you get. This is our backyard for the next two days. You we just paid $19 a night $19. thanks to our Passport America membership. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so those are the big pros and cons for me. Big pro, uh, pros definitely outweigh the, the cons. And what about what you miss what? about living in a house? Uh, yes. For me, I think it's yes. more family yes. than yes. anything else. Uh, real close to, to my family, them coming yes. over for barbecues or drinks in the backyard. Definitely a lot easier to, to run my business in one place than it is venturing around. But hey, It's a I'm, challenge. It is a challenge. And, and once I'm, we uh, conquer that challenge, it's not going to be an obstacle anymore. I'm up for the challenge, for sure. Pros and cons of living in an RV. The pros, of course, scenery like this. I mean, this would have to be a destination, summer vacation to be planned out if we we're going to uh, spend the evening by the lake and the water. Um, spending lots of time with the family, that could be a pro and a con because <laughs> you're together in our camper, especially if it's a hot day outside, then we're definitely indoors, uh, staying out of the sun and the heat. Um, but we're spending lots of quality time together. That's a pro. Traveling, seeing places we've never seen before is uh, a pro. Now, cons. Definitely the isolation. I feel that, especially when Caesar has to go to work uh, and we are at home uh, without a vehicle. That definitely feels... If we're in an RV resort that offers a lot, then it doesn't feel like... Uh, isolation like I could take the kids we go out for a walk we'll go out to the park if it if the campsite has a uh, playground or we'll go to the rec center um, or something you know we'll do something together uh, but if it doesn't have a lot to offer and there's no stores nearby I'm just kind of sitting at home waiting for him to get off work so that's definitely a con we get to places and everybody kind of wants to stay to themselves in some of the um, RV resorts that we've been to, RV parks that we've been to. So we haven't met a lot of people that, you know, we can build lasting friendships with, but that's, you know, part of the traveling nomadic lifestyle. Uh, I do miss having a house to some ex extent. Like I miss the regular schedule, the kids going away to school for six hours me going to work, Caesar going to work, the grind that most people get tired of, kind of like that routine. So yes, I do miss um, having a house, having a routine for the kids to be in. I miss the kids having a routine, like Ivy being in dance class uh, or finding something for Nikki to be in, uh, taking them places where they can be social as well because she is a very social kid and so she is pretty isolated here with just her brother to play with and fight with all the time. Uh, Nicholas, of course, loves the isolation because he didn't care for school all that much or <laughs> his teachers are friends. Um, but uh, he definitely misses his cousins. It's a little sad, but I was like, okay, well, you know, maybe once we experience some more things and show them some more things, then it'll be uh, more exciting. Another con of RV is having to do laundry it could be having to do laundry in a laundromat. It could be a pro or a con. It could be a pro as in a laundromat. You can get all of your laundry done. 
in two hours. If there's like five machines open, you could do five loads of laundry and be done. So that is a pro, but the con is now having to carry detergent and fabric softener and quarters with you and then finding a uh, laundry facility, unless it's in the RV park, that's not too expensive because $3 a load is ridiculous. I don't want to spend $50 to do a load of laundry, especially when we do it every 10 days. Um, I'm trying to get better about when we do laundry, uh, but it is give or take about 10 days. We're cutting it close when we're doing two weeks. So that's a con. Another con with laundry is where do you keep your laundry? Where do you keep your dirty laundry? We've got one bag that seems to be sitting in the middle of the of the room or it has to be shuffled around. We do have a one big laundry bag and then we have a white laundry basket and then I just bought two small hanging laundry baskets to help sort. Well, where do you keep those? I yeah, mean, do you, we don't do have a them, lot of... Yeah, do you keep them on the uh, wall? Do you mount them? Do you... Our bathroom's too small to put them in there, so... Well, Let you us know. know. Let I us wonder... know what your hints are. Let us know if you have any solutions for that. All right, we're still talking about pros and cons that we've learned about RV living in these past couple of months that we've been on the road. Texas heat, man. <laughs> Texas heat hot. is 100 degrees right now in the summer. It sucks. Uh, but we're trying to figure out ways to cool down our RV during the day because if it's 107 degrees outside, we definitely don't want to hang around and have the kids running around outside. So we try to find indoor stuff for them to do, but inside the camper is hot as well because one air condition is trying to cool down our entire 32 foot travel trailer. And so they, we're putting... They say yes on the foil, on the, not foil, but the bubble yeah. wrap insulator thermal stuff on the windows and then they Reflectix say no. is what it's called, Reflectix. Reflectix, yes, Reflectix, no. Yeah. Seems to be working with us. We don't have double pane windows. So. Well, it's not really working completely because it's still hot even yeah. with it on. Um, I think but our solution... We're in, a, in some sort of shade. Yeah, today we're in a shade. Um, here's our camper. Today we are in shade for the most part. But um, we're running two fans. We're running a fan in our bedroom to try and keep that cool. And we've got blackout curtains and insulation on the windows to try and cool it down. But sometimes it doesn't cool it down until like two o'clock in the morning and then finally the air condition is really chilled down the entire camper, but heat, definitely an issue. Make sure to check out our last video, subscribe to our channel, and follow our adventures on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Light, camper, action!